Hello, my lovers. Welcome to Weird West Country, the show where you find out several interesting facts about a place in England that you've probably never even thought about before. Hooray! So, I am Laura Fox. I am interested in history, and this is all the excuse I needed to start making this show because this is what the internet needs: is me talking, giving my opinion. So, oh, and some information, some small amount of、uh, factual stuff as well. So, hello, and welcome to the first ever episode. <laughs> okay, ignore that. That's a bad pin. How do you still good? We're fine. Continue flawless. I'll cut that bit out. For those of you who are not aware, the West Country is、uh, a sort of generic, general term for the southernmost counties in the great and wonderfully brilliant、uh, Kingdom of England. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Yes,、uh, the southernmost counties of England, which are in no particular order: Dorset, Somerset, Devon, Devon, Cornwall, you know.、Uh, and、uh, yeah, you can stop there. Some people like to include Gloucestershire and Wiltshire, but in terms of the scope of this show, that really just depends on how much budget we have. So that's a bit flexible. You can also do Bristol. Bristol's nice, but Bristol, you know, it's hip, it's cool, it's a bit full of itself. I don't know if it needs much more promoting, but you know, a nice day out to Bristol would be pretty good. So we'll see. But today, the first ever episode is going to focus on a marvelous place known only as Wisman's Wood. Wisman's Wood is one of the last remaining patches of a high-altitude oak wood, which in prehistoric times would have covered nearly all of Dartmoor. The oaks of the wood are famous for their twisted, gnarled appearance, growing up between treacherous mounds of granite boulders. Virtually every surface of the wood is covered with a thick layer of moss. It is home to over one hundred species of mosses and lichens alone. Wisman's Wood can be reached via a brisk half-hour walk along the track from the Two Bridges Hotel. Mentions of Wisman's Wood in literature can be found as far back as the early 1600s, but one of the best ones that I've found is a mention in 1797 by the Reverend Sweet. It is hardly possible to conceive of anything so grotesque. As this wood appears, yeah. Okay, I'm not sure how many more times I'm going to do those segments. It might be a little bit too weird, but anyway, we'll carry on seamlessly.、Uh, so yes, aside from angering、uh, local 18th century priests, Wisman's Wood has also really piqued. The interest of a lot of people because it's so unusual、um, and eerie. So、uh, a good case in point here is also the Buller Stone. In 1866, local historian and general Good Egg, Mr. Wentworth Buller, decided to establish the age of the wood by cutting down a tree and counting the rings. The tree he chose measured nine inches in diameter and appeared to be around 168 years old. To celebrate, he had the whole episode carved into the side of the largest stone in the vicinity, now remembered in perpetuity as the Buller Stone. Given its creepy history, Wisman's Wood has also appeared numerous times throughout centuries of folklore. Always inextricably bound with tales of tortured souls and mystical druids. Even the name Wisman's Wood derives from the old Devonshire dialect word "wished," meaning eerie, strange, or uncanny, and also applies to the legendary wished hounds of the old legendary Dartmoor Hunt. 
The wished hounds are said to hunt in the wood at night. The demon pack, led by the devil himself, streaks out across the moor, devouring lost souls and unwary travellers. So, that's all from me today. I think I've pretty much covered everything I wanted to say. Uh, yeah, do go and visit because it's really cool. Um, and yes, join me and Professor Fox next time for more weird West Country and other things. I feel I should have a sign off. Should I have a sign off? Uh, uh. That's all, weird West Country years. No. Stay weird. No. <sighs> Cheers, then.